We're joined tonight by the four goal scorers from Wake Forest, four to three, white knuckler of a win over a conference rival in Virginia here on senior night at Spry Stadium. Uh, guys, started out somewhat easy, three to nothing. Uh, you guys got out to a, a quick lead, and then uh, Ross and Sam get their first collegiate goals. Talk about what that feels like. Uh, at first, it's kind of like a surreal feeling. You don't really think that it just happened, but you know, after you settle down, after celebration and everything, it, it's a good feeling, but it's just good to help the team out, help you win. Yeah, I just, after it went in, I just didn't really know what to do, so I just kind of ran around, and it was awesome. It was a good feeling. And like you said, helps the team win and get, get a goal is always nice. Still, after that, uh, Virginia didn't go away so easily. Um, Talk about your mindset, I guess, as they came charging back in the, in the second half. <clears throat> yeah, I think, you know, once they got that first goal, um, you know, I, th I think we were all right. And then a uh, skeptical PK call after that, and it put us a little bit on our heels, um, you know, but I think we've all been in that situation before last year um, with the BC game, and, you know, it's a, that's a good learning experience for us. But, you know, we were confident with it. We stuck to our game plan. Um, uh, we got together after the goal and, you know, we discussed staying true to our lines and, you know, playing off our counterattack like we did and move on was fortunate enough to get a good goal. So, you know, we stuck to our game plan. We were, we were pretty confident with it. And, you know, there, wasn't, there re really wasn't much panic, so. Speaking of PKs, Danny, you got us on the board first. Uh, talk about, I guess, your plan of attack going into that shot. Yeah, I mean, we had a good play leading up to it. Um, we did well to combine down the left side, and Ugo fortunately got fouled in the box, and you know, I stepped up there, and I you know, I had a mindset that it was going to go in, so just hit it hard down the left side and you know, just celebrate, so it's good. It seems like we've been waiting for a breakout or a breakthrough win all season. Was tonight that win? Um, we hope so. Um, now it's focused on Elon. We got Elon Tuesday, so this one's done with. We're going to celebrate for a little while, but after that, this is over, and we got to move on to Tuesday and get another one there. Yeah, I think it puts us in a really good situation. You know, we're above 500, and we have a chance to have a home seat at, for the ACC tournament. So, you know, breakout win, uh, maybe. But we stayed. You know, we've been playing soccer, and we're fortunate enough to get the win. So, just going to keep doing what we do. Andy, you got your third goal of the night in the 88th minute tonight. Put us up four to two at the time. Uh, didn't think we'd need it, but it turns out to be the game winner. Uh, how, how big was that score? And uh, talk about the sequence leading up to it. Yeah, I think uh, we saw that they were exposed on the counter, so that was something we were looking at going into the game. And uh, Ross did a really good job of winning the ball and playing it quickly to me. And then I was able to combine with Hugo, and he put a good ball through, and we were able to finish well. So it was a good goal. It felt really good to, to get the goal, and I think it was looked good. But uh, yeah, I thought when I first scored, I thought uh, we kind of glitched it at that moment. but. I think we were a little, a little bit disappointed with the second goal to it, but at the end of the day, we, we got the result. We're all pretty happy with that. I think it feels really good. I think uh, we've been a little bit frustrated with the lack of goals, but we're all confident that the goals will come. So to see it come through with all our hard work is really rewarding, and I think we'll be able to carry it into the next couple of games. And now's a good time to be getting a lot of goals, so I think we'll be very confident with that. And back to three and three in the ACC with with a chance to get another win next week. Uh, going to NC State. Um, how critical was tonight's win just for conference play overall going into next week? Uh, I think it was very critical. Um, it put us at 500, and like I said, it gives us a good chance to have a home seed for the ACC tournament. Uh, you know, we always want to do well in the ACC, so you know, to come 500 and have the opportunity to you know, take State on and get a win is you know, big time, but we're going to focus on Elon, hope to get a win there, and you know, we'll look forward then. So.